Hello and welcome PML fans, I'm your host Admin Joe here and we're about to do our week 5 battle versus J-Dog, uh, Jesse, he's taking over for uh, someone who dropped from the league but that's fine, <clears throat> he's been doing pretty well with the team so we gotta make sure we bring our A game here and we'll just see how that goes, so basically I look at his team here and I really don't know what to lead but um, hmm. Either he's going to lead Sigilif, or I'm assuming he's going to lead either Sigilif or Whimsicott. So I'm going to go ahead and lead Shadow. And then the rest doesn't matter. But um, judging by his team, he's pretty weak with ice and stuff. So hopefully we can get a, a late game sweep with Pyro Pup and Flare Blitz everything to death. And we are clearly Scarfed, so we'll be faster than even the Scarfed um, Darmanitan he has on his team, if it's Scarf. So we will definitely see. And look, he's representing the Arcanine on his shirt. <clears throat> so, alright. <clears throat> clearly he goes Dustmore first. Which is good for us, because we're faster. I mean, I know he's bulky, but we are Focus Ash, so we live anything. So, we're just going to go ahead and Shadow Ball here. Alright, Shadow Ball obviously goes off first since we're faster. And he's bulky as hell, so obviously he's going to live one. So, let's see what he does in return. Okay, so he goes Trick Room here. Now he's going to be faster. Hmm. Gengar could still be good for us. So I don't want to waste that right now. Let's go ahead and use Duraludon. No, not Duraludon. Let's go ahead and go Unifish because he's really... He's not really someone I really need. Need Duraludon's good for the ice types and stuff like that. So... <clears throat> Okay, so he goes straight Memento. So he takes a kill away from us. And he burns a Turner Trick Room there. So what slow Pokemon is he relying on here? Okay, Crawdon. Not, not a bad Pokemon. Um... I'm going to go for Megahorn because I feel like he's going to try to set up here. Hopefully we don't miss. So yeah, obviously he's trying to set up. Megahorn pops off and let's get that Oko, baby. No, it's a very bulky variant of Crawdon. So he's probably going to go for the knockoff here. And I believe a plus two knockoff will knock us out. Especially since I would assume he's adaptability here. But at least we'll be burning some of these trick room turns. Oh, so he even Dynamaxes here. <laughs> okay, so this will be the third turn of trick room. And then there will be two more turns after that. Max Darkness. We do not live that. Obviously. Okay. So, here we go. What do we want to do here? Um... I don't want to waste my Dynamax yet. And I still like Shadow in this game. He didn't bring Gastrodon, so I'm, I'm okay with uh, burning uh, Rosie here. So, we're going to lose a couple mines, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, this will be... Okay, so this is the last turn of Trick Room. You know what? I'm not going to waste my Pokemon here. I'm actually going to go... I'm actually going to go ahead and Dynamax because I don't really need Dynamax to beat his team from here. 
So let's go ahead and max guard. <clears throat> Why risk losing more Pokemon for no reason? And the beautiful Rosie. Shiny and all. <sighs> there we go. And then obviously tries to go for max darkness. And then this should end trick room here. So now. We can go for max starfall. Because we don't want his team recovering with the with the grassy terrain. And he has no priority while he's Dynamax, so he might try to he might try to stall my Dynamax out, but we'll see. Yeah, he's trying to stall me out of turn since he knows he's going down here. So I wonder if he tries to save this, because he knows uh, Aqua Jet's not going to do much. Even with plus two adaptability, it should have knocked me out since I'm Dynamax. Okay, so he does try to save it. So Whimsicott comes in, and obviously he's going to be sashed. And he's going to try to get a Tailwind up, I'm sure. So he's really playing the speed control game here. So let him get this let him get that up. Let him get the tailwind. And we're gonna start sending some spikes. Let's get ahead of the curve. Cause obviously we don't we want him to waste a couple turns of tailwind. So that burns one turn. We're gonna go ahead and go for max spikes here. Get our second layer up. Okay, so I don't care what he switches out to. I don't want to kill this Whimsicott yet because he still has speed control. Okay, defog. That's fine. We're going to try to wear out all these uh, turns. And I believe I should be able to attack this next turn. What the heck? Yeah, this is the last turn, so we're just going to attack. Sludge Bomb. Okay, so he's going to try to get up one more thing of uh, Tailwind here. So what is he giving up? Well, not giving up, because he, he's still... Here we go. Ooh, we get a good chunk with that sludge bomb there. And I think it's going to be faster, but uh, we're, we're kind of bulky. We're bulky. We're just going to go for it. Okay, so he straight up goes for cosmic power here. He's going to boost his defenses. And he most likely goes for a recovery here. So let's go ahead and get, I mean, a roost. So let's go ahead and get Shadow in. Because Rosie's not going to be able to take this thing out. Yeah, he goes for roost. And sadly, I did not think to put a uh, Thunderbolt on here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and go Shadow Ball. And it's enough to knock it out, even with the plus one. Great job, Gengar.
Okay, clearly he's gonna go for um, the Tailwind here, which is fine. Let's try to burn these turns again. So what does he have left here? It doesn't matter. We're gonna go touch toxic spikes so it can we can force a taunt. Okay. So he just went out and did that anyway. So he wants to keep that tailwind option in the back. Whew. Okay, so Arctozolt comes in. So, electric and ice. We can take one ice hit. So, we're going to go sludge bomb here. Okay, so we avoided it. So, hustle got nullified there. You, you win some, you lose some with hustle. And we got a crit. I mean, it would have been a two shot anyway, but still. So let's see if we still live even though he has that hustle ability boost. Nah, we don't live that. <laughs> quite fine, quite alright. And it's life orb, so perfect. Alright, we didn't put extreme speed on here, so that's that could be bad. Um, let's go ahead and get Duraludon out here. Because we pretty much uh, don't get hit by anything he has super effectively. And we're going to go ahead and go for a Stealth Rock here. So Whimsicott can't get up uh, Tailwind again. That's fine. So now Whimsicott should be low enough to where he can't come in, set up Tailwind. So we're safe from that. And let's just start uh, shooting off flash cannons here. Good thing I didn't take off Stealth Rocks. I was really thinking... No, actually, I, I knew I was going to need it for all the Ice types you had. So... Good thing I still kept it. <laughs> that's what that's what we prep for, fellas and gals. Whew, but we ain't out the woods yet. <laughs> Darmanitan comes in. And I'm sure it's scarfed. Oh wait, no. It has a berry. Beautiful. Um, I'm gonna assume he tries to kill me with superpower, so I'm gonna switch out. Okay, he goes substitute. Interesting. According to Miriam Webster, definition of substitute. Oh, sorry. Google popped up for some reason. <clears throat> and then we have a Zen mode on the side. So we're going to go in Sludge Wave here. And we live it no matter what. And we're just going to keep Sludge Waving. Oh, and Ice School Crash is disabled. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll keep the sub off the field no matter what. So even if he goes for another one, that's fine. We're just going to keep sledge waving. Alright, so it makes me a little nervous here. Because Arcanine is scarfed, but I don't know if we outspeed that. So we'll see. It all comes down to this.
So we do get the drop, which is fine. So let's flare blitz everything. This is what we prep for. Okay, he kills Whimsicott himself. Oh, well, it lives on one, literally. But it's fine. He loses more health to Stealth Rocks. I was assuming he was going to try to defog if I did something crazy, but I don't know exactly what he was thinking. Okay, so he's not in Zen form anymore, but I think he will drop back into it. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't. So we should outspeed no matter what. We're scarfed. So Pyro Pupper knocks it out. Beautiful. We didn't have to worry about him outspeeding us. Not that I think it would have, but still, you know. So Pyro Pupper gets to sweep up at the end here. I think Flare Blitz should still do the damage here that it needs. So, let's just go ahead and do it. We're scarfed into it. Alright. And, that doesn't do enough. But, Poison will knock it out. So, Roserade gets a kill beyond the grave. And, that is GG Jesse. <laughs> Great game, man. Uh... Thank you for playing, and I will see you guys next time.